The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. To find the slope of this line, again, we would use the ratio rise over run between the points A and B. Notice, however, that to get from point A to point B, we must first go down two units, one, two. So our rise is actually negative two. Our run is four units, one, two, three, four. So our slope, or rise over run, is negative two over four. As a last step to these problems, make sure you've reduced your slope as much as possible. And notice that negative 2 over 4 can be reduced to negative 1 half. So m equals negative 1 half. The main difference between this problem and the last is that your slope is negative. One of the most common mistakes that students make in problems that involve slope is they mess up the sign. It's very easy to avoid this mistake, however, if you understand one simple rule. If you read the graph from left to right and your line is going downhill like it is in this problem, then the slope must be negative. If you read the graph from left to right and your line is going uphill like it was in the first problem, then your slope must be positive. 